The traditional cholesterol medicines, the statins as they're called, basically block a pathway in the liver. So it stops your liver from making cholesterol. And anytime you block a pathway, there's other things that build up upstream behind it. And that can cause side effects. The thing that's different about the PCSK9 inhibitors is they actually enhance your own body's ability to clear cholesterol. By that I mean that we all have something called PCSK9 and it is um, it works like such in that we have a, an LDL cholesterol and we have a receptor. And so what will happen is the receptors in the liver, the LDL goes into the receptor like the key in the lock, goes in the liver, the liver gets rid of the LDL cholesterol and the receptor comes back out and gets another one. We all have some PCSK9 that binds those two together. So that when they're bound together, they both go into your liver and they both get destroyed. So uh, you don't have a receptor to come back out and get the next LDL. So I tell patients, it's kind of like putting your garbage out in your garbage can on Wednesday morning for the garbage man. He or she comes by and takes both the garbage and the can. <laughs> so you have to go back to the store and get a new can. It's a very inefficient process. This allows your own receptor to be used over and over and over again so you can get more LDL out of your system. Of the three that are coming along, we've studied two of them here, giving them to patients in research studies and looked at their benefits and their side effects and good effects and bad effects. And we found them to be very, very effective. The high LDL cholesterol does affect a lot of people, and there's different types. There is familial or genetically based high cholesterol, and there's lifestyle based high cholesterol. Now, most Americans are lifestyle based. You know, we eat the wrong things, we're not active enough, etc but there's about one in 200 patients that have high cholesterol based on their genes. And those are the ones that this can really help. Uh, there's always good effects and there's not, sometimes not good effects. And the same with this new line of drugs. These drugs right now are proteins and just like meat, if you ate some steak and went in your stomach, it would get destroyed. These proteins, you can't swallow them as a pill. It has to be taken as a shot. And it's a subcutaneous injection, meaning under the skin, just like you do with insulin a very small needle, 23 gauge needle, but there's a significant percentage of Americans that do not like needles and they do not want to take a needle even though you really don't feel this needle at all when it goes in. You do feel the 1cc injection. So that's, that's an issue.